In a world that often focuses on the grandeur of its creatures, there existed a silent kingdom of tiny beings, unseen and often ignored. A man set out for his usual walk, accompanied by his two loyal dogs, Molly and Rusty. Molly and Rusty were not just ordinary dogs, they were blessed with sharp instincts and inquisitive noses. As they strolled through the dense undergrowth, their senses were suddenly stirred by an unfamiliar scent. It was a scent like no other, something foreign to their daily adventures. With tails wagging and ears perked, they led their owner towards the source of the scent. The man, intrigued by his dog's curiosity, followed closely. In the tangled thicket, beneath a canopy of leaves, they discovered a fragile and nearly invisible creature, a baby pygmy flying couscous, no larger than a paper clip and almost naked, having fallen from its mother's pouch. The tiny marsupial was no match for the wild and was on the brink of peril. Understanding the urgency of the situation, the man wasted no time. He gently cradled the minuscule creature in his palm, marveling at the fragility of life. With the baby pygmy flying couscous in his care, he made his way to the local Australian zoo. The hospital at the zoo was equipped with a team of dedicated experts who knew just how to nurse delicate souls like Bup, as they would later name the tiny couscous, back to health. Bup, once fragile and vulnerable, started to show signs of strength and vitality. His transformation was a testament to the unwavering dedication of the zoo staff and the indomitable spirit of a being, no matter how small. The pygmy flying couscous grew, day by day, and by the time he was ready to be released into the wild, he was no longer a delicate creature barely visible to the human eye. With the support of the experts and the care of the zoo, Bup was ready to return to the lush wilderness of the east coast of Australia, where he belonged. He was now a sprightly 13-gram marvel, resembling the images in books, and ready to join the world as one of the smallest mammals, feeding on nectar and insects.